Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to continue with sorting technique. So till now we had discussed the bubble sort technique as well as the insertion sort. So today I am going to discuss the selection sort technique. So what is the meaning of selection sort? It arranges the numbers in order by finding the smallest number. So what is by finding the smallest number means? It is going to be for example, you will be having a list here 5, 3, and 2 and 1. Now it is going to find out which is the minimum value. So you have to create one minimum variable. There you are going to store what is the minimum value when each time of comparison. Okay. And you have to divide the list into two parts. One is the left part and another one is the right part. So what it will happen always you have to assume the first element as a sorted one. And you are going to compare it with the first element to the second element. Whether which one will be the minimum. So according to this example, the first minimum value is 5. After that, when you are comparing it with the next number is 3. So minimum value will change to 3. After that, you are going to check with the next position. Now 3 or 2, which is the minimum value? It is a 2. So minimum value will change to 2. After that again, you are going to compare it with the next location, which means an element. So 2 or 1. So obviously, the 1 is a minimum value. So once you have done, what it will happen? You are going to swap the 1 to this position, the first position. Okay. And 5, you are going to swap it to this position. So after the swapping, you will get the element as 1, 3, 2 and 5. This is what you will be getting. This type of swapping, we can call it as a selection sort. You are going to select the minimum value from the list of elements. And when sorting a list of n elements, selection sort performs n minus 1 passes. Like all other sorting, this selection sort also will pass n minus 1 passes. And what is the working process? Again, I told you now, the list is divided into two parts. Left will be unsorted one and it starts empty, grows as sorting happens. Right will be the unsorted part and starts with all number and shrink as sorting happens. You can see the example here. We have a book rack and the first element you can see here. It is a little bigger book. After that, you can see here there is a small book. So when you're comparing it, so this is a smallest one. So, the swapping it happened, the smallest one will come here. This will go to the smallest position. Clear? So, this is what it will move it. And in each part, the smallest number from the unsorted part is found and swapped with the first number in the unsorted part. And this process continues n minus 1 times until all numbers are in order. Okay, next we are going to see the tracing technique. Of selection sort. We have a list now 13, 5, 9, minus 3 and 8. So this list we are going to use a sorting technique and to sort the element. Now it is starting with pass 1 and your comparison also will start from index 0. Okay. Now I am writing the same list in the form of box. Now what you are going to check? You are going to check whether the 13 is less than 5. If the 13 is less than 5, what is the minimum value? It is 5. And the next time, 5, you are going to check it with 9. 5 is less than 9? True. So, the minimum value still it is maintaining what? 5 only. After that, you are going to check what? 5 to minus 3. You are going to keep on checking with the minimum value to the next element. So, 5 to minus 3. So, 5 is less than minus 3? False. So, the minimum value is changed now to minus 3. Now, after that, you are going to check minus 3 to 8. So, minus 3 is less than 8. True. So, the minimum value again it is minus 3. Now, is there any other element left out? No. So, what you have to do now? You are going to swap minus 3 to 13. It will go to the 0th position and 13 will come to this position. Clear now? Now, that is what the swapping is happening. So, it is not sorted. After pass 1, the list is what? Minus 3, 5, 9, then 13 and 8. So, the swapping is done. Now, you have to continue with the pass 2. So, what is the pass 2? Pass 2, you have to start with index 1 because this one is already sorted. 
So you have to start with what? Index 1 value now. So 5, you are going to check it with 9. 5 is less than 9? True. So the minimum value is 5. Again, you are going to check what? 5 is less than 30. Yes, that is also true. So minimum value is 5 only. Again, you are going to check what? 5 is less than 8. You are going to check it out. That is also true. So the minimum value what? 5. So no swapping is required because already it is in the correct position. So no swapping is required. So you are going to mention what? Not sorted. After pass 2, then list is what? Minus 3, 5, 9, 13, 8. The same list it is continuing. Next, go to the pass 3 now. So pass 3 means what? It has to start with the index 2. Okay. So index 2 means 9. So 9 you are going to check it with 13. Yes, it is less than 13. True, the minimum value is 9. Again, you are going to check 9 is less than 8. But it is false. So the minimum value what it is changed? It is changed to 8. So you are going to swap 8 to 9. And 9 will come to this position. Clear now? So after swapping, what is that? So minus 3, 5, 8, 39. Okay, now again this list is sorted. No, the list is not sorted. Now pass 4. So pass 4, you are going to check it with index 3. You are going to start with. This is the index 3. You are going to compare it now. 13 is less than 9. False. So the minimum value is 9. So you are going to swap it. This 2. So now the list got sorted, right? So sorted. After pass 4, then the list is minus 3, 5, 8, 9, 13. Clear everyone? So this is what you have to do the tracing. So first it will start with index 0. After that the second pass it will start with index 1. The third pass index 2. Then fourth pass is index 3. Sometimes before pass 2 only your elements will get sorted. That time you have to stop it. No need to continue till pass 4. I hope you understood this concept of tracing. Okay, now let's see the algorithm. Okay, now let's see the selection sort algorithm. So selection sort algorithm you have to start with. Selection sort that takes num list as a list. For example, num list is nothing but name of the list. So I'm creating here num list and I am passing it here three numbers, eight, then nine, then minus three. This is my list and the name of the list is num list and us n elements. What are the n elements? How many numbers are there inside? So totally three elements are there. So n equal to three. So n equal to three. And sorts the list in ascending order. As I told you, all the sorting technique you are going to sort the ascending order only. Now, how can you create the algorithm? First, I have mentioned here selection sort is my name of the function. I am passing here two arguments, num list comma n, and set i equal to zero. As I told you in the last uh, you know, sorting technique also, i is nothing but the outer loop. Outer loop it is going to handle with all the passes also and the index also. The index is zero here, one and two. So i you are setting as a zero index now. While i is less than n minus 1, you are going to check the condition now. What is i? 0 is less than 3. n minus 1 is nothing but 3 minus 1. It is nothing but 2. So, 0 is less than 2. Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, you are going to repeat steps 3 to 11. Okay. After that, what is the minimum value here? Minimum value is i. i is nothing but 0 index. As I told you, right first element, you have to assume it as a sorted one. That is what you are giving it as minimum as i, which means zero element. And flag equal to zero. It is an optional. Okay. So the flag is going to handle two value. One is zero, another one is one. If it is a zero, then no swapping is required. If it change to one, then swapping is required. So flag is not going to uh, no, uh, deal with any other value, only zero, one, one clear and set j equal to i plus 1. You are setting the j equal to i plus 1. What is i here? 0 plus 1 which means it is indicating the first index. So j is first index clear and while j is less than n. So what is j? The first index is less than 3. The condition is true. If the condition is true you are going to repeat the step 6 to 8. What is the step 6? If num list of j. So j means what? 1 first index. 
Namna stroke J means it is representing the element. So Namna stroke J is 9 is less than Namna stroke min. What is a min? Min you are setting as what? I. I is a 0 index. So Namna stroke min means 8. It is representing the element. So 9 is less than 8. So 9 is less than 8. Yes, 9 is not less than 8. The condition is false. If the condition is false, then these two statements will not be executing. Okay, because the condition is false. After that here, one more step is missing. You have to increment the j equal to j plus 1. The j will be incremented by 1. Because all the algorithm we had discussed, like uh, no, j also will be incremented and i also will be incremented. But first j only will be incremented in all the condition okay so j is equal to j plus 1 so what is j what j is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 then the loop will go here while 2 is now you are going to check 2 the index the j is now in index 2 so 2 is less than 3 yes the condition is true if the condition is true repeat the step again if num list of j what is num list of j j is 2 and num list of j is minus 3 so the second time it is going to check the value Minus 3 is less than num list of min. Min we didn't change it, right? So min value still it is in 0 index. So the value is 8. Minus 3 is less than 8. The condition is true this time. So what it will happen? Min equal to j. So min you are going to set as a j. What is j here? The second index. Clear? So min equal to in second index. After that flag equal to 1. Which means the swapping is required. Understood? The swapping is required. After that, j equal to j plus 1. What is j now? 2 plus 1 is 3. Now, again it is going to the while loop. 3 is less than 3. The condition is false. So, what it will happen? It won't do anything. Directly it will come to step. This step. If flag equal to 1. Yes, the flag is last time. What is the flag? Equal to 1 only. The condition is true. Then swap. Now, the stop i. What is now the stop i? I we set as 0 only. I we didn't do anything. After setting, we didn't do anything. So what is I? I is in 0 index. So num list of I means 8. Right? And you are swapping it with num list of min. What is the minimum value? Here you have changed it to min is equal to index. What is the index here? Minus 3. Sorry, 2 is the index. And what is the num list of min is? Minus 3. Now this 2 value you are going to swap it. Clear now? Then after that set equal to i equal to i plus 1. Then the pass 2 is going to start. So once the first iteration is over, you will get the list as minus 3, 9 and 8. So this swapping is done. Again you have to do the same method in the next pass. Clear now? So this is what the algorithm is working. Okay now let's see the program. So this is a program of selection sort. I am creating a function here by using the DEF and name of the function is selection sort and my list name is list1 here and I am creating the length of the list n. So n I am going to store the length of the list and I am creating the outer loop here for i in range of n. So according to the previous example range is 3 now. So in for i in range of 3 means it is going to take the value 0, 1 and 2. After that, you are setting what? Minimum index is i, which means the 0 element. Now, for j in range of i plus 1 comma n, what is i plus 1? It is nothing but the 1. Until n, it is going to check it out. Okay, n means n minus 1, it is going to check it out. And if it is true, then you are checking the condition. If list 1 of j is list 1 of minimum index, minimum index equal to j you are setting. Here, can you observe? I am not using flag here. Instead of that, you can use the condition as if flag equal to 1, you are doing the swapping. Here, min index is not equal to i. So, which means min index is not equal to i means what? Min index you are setting. So, whenever if it is checking the element, for example, 8 and 9 and minus 3, now the after the condition is checked, now the min index, it is not equal to i, which means it is not equal to 0, then you are going to do the swapping. Clear? Which means the minimum index, it is changed to some other index. So, which means it is not equal to 0. Then if it is not equal to 0, then you are going to do the swapping here. How to do the swapping? List 1 of i comma, which means the 0 index. 
less you one of minimum index whichever the index you got the minimum one that is equal to you are going to do less one of min index comma less one of i which it is nothing but a comma b equal to b comma a okay so now after that you are creating num list equal to eval function eval function it will act for tuple as a tuple as list as a list you are going to give the input as a list format after that you are calling the function selection sort and I am passing this argument as num list. This num list will replace with list 1 inside the function. After that you are printing sorted lists for i in range of len of num list. Print num list of i. End equal to space. Okay. Now let us run the program. I am giving the value here. 8, 9, minus 1. Now let us see. Minus 1, 8 and 9. So, why I am giving end equal to space mean I want everything should be in the same line. If you are not giving this, everything will come in the next line. I hope everyone is clear with this. If you have any question, post your question in the comment section. I will reply to your answer. Those who didn't subscribe my channel, please do the subscription. Next class, I am going to start with the next chapter. Thank you so much.